going to be cutting a spare key blade for a Mitsubishi Outlander. We're going to come to our Godzilla key cutting machine. Let's have a look on our screen. So we can go to vehicle database. We can go down to Mitsubishi. Let's try and find Outlander, see if it's listed. Yep, Outlander's listed just there. And then we've got our key MIT 11R. So I can just take a look at my original and my new one and that looks the same to me so mid 11 r it is so we're going to press that so then we can see what clamp we're going to use t1 and we're going to be aligning it with the shoulder so i'm going to get my original bleed i'm going to pull it into the machine i'm going to use one of my shim lining up devices so i can line it up with the first line and then i'm going to press learn so we can learn this key now. So now we've successfully learned it, we can just have a look at the screen. We can see now it's decoded our key. I can have a quick look to compare the images. That looks fine to me. So what we'll do now is we'll get our new AutoWave emergency key blank. That's from out of the remote. We're going to pull that in the same, the same mark, line it up with the first line, with the shoulder, and then we're going to press cut. We can just press continue and let the machine do its work. It's a Mitsubishi Outlander 2016-66 plate. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the OBD Star DP Plus to program an aftermarket AutoWave remote. So the customer has one key, which is a two-button key. In fact, you can hear the lock and unlock is all fine and it starts the vehicle fine. Now, the AutoWave key, which is a three-button smart remote, will also function with a two-button and three-button remote system. So it's not programmed. And we're going to go ahead and code this in. So first of all, <clears throat> I ensure that I've got a solid internet connection, which I have. I'm going to hit IMO. I'm going to go to Asia and select Mitsubishi. Use the latest software version. I'm just going to unlock the vehicle using the original remote. So open and close the door just so it doesn't keep locking itself. Right, so. It's not a Chinese market, it's other. I'm gonna select Mitsubishi Outlander, which is what it is. Now there's two types, Outlander four wheel drive and Outlander Sport. I don't know which one it is, so I'm gonna go ahead and select the top one. It's a proximity key, and it's a 2014 onwards. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So, in all honesty, it's the first time I've done it Outlander, and I'm sure a lot of our customers will be in this situation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the top. Let's try and read the pin code. So it says this function is available by connecting to the server, which we've got an internet connection. So I'm gonna hit okay. At the moment, I've not got the ignition on because it's not asked me to put the ignition on. Here we go, it says turn ignition on. So obviously I'm just gonna press put the key in my hand, press the power button, you can see the ignition's on. Hit enter. And it's read, the pin code value is 030F. So I'm going to escape, I'll remember that. I'll also now hit key count, and it tells us that the number of current keys are two. The customer's only got one. So at least I can know that we've established communication with the uh, vehicle. I've left my ignition on at this stage, and now I'm going to go to program keys. Again, it tells me that I need to be connected to the internet, so I hit enter. So at least needs at least one programmed key, which we have one programmed key. So I'm going to hit enter. It says, please close all doors and unplug all external devices on the cigarette ladder to prevent interference and insufficient voltage. 
So as you can see at the bottom, the customer's got his little USB adapter. I'm gonna take that out and just slot that here. So now we've got nothing connected and then I'm gonna hit enter. Insert the programmed proximity key into the card slot. So I know that the card slot is just here at the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and slot that in there, as you can see. And then I'm gonna hit enter. Ignition is already on. I hit enter. Now it's communicating with the vehicle. Telling me to switch the ignition off. So the ignition's off, as you can see on the screen. And there we hit enter. As you can see, the dashboard has come on, on its own. And just to note, this is a plug-in hybrid EV model, uh, but this is not making any difference to the programming procedure. So here we go, program success. So it means that it's coded the original one back in, whether to program the next one. I'm gonna hit enter. So insert the next smart, smart key into the slot within 30 seconds. I'm gonna take that one out and I'm gonna put my new key, bought from AutoWave, in the slot and I'm gonna hit enter. program success there was a small bleep as well so now it says whether to program the next one I'm gonna hit escape program complete enter so now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna exit out the menu I'm gonna turn the ignition off I'm gonna now test the remote functions as you can see the remote functions are working and on the new remote sorry the old remote the remote functions are working as well so there we have two fully working keys. The customer came with one key and now we've added an additional key. Now one good thing to do would be to check the key count. So if I go back into the menu and hit key count, it says number of keys two. So what it's done is it's erased the old keys. So it's quite important that if the customer has any keys, they must be present at the time of programming. And uh, they must be present at the time of programming. And there we have two fully working keys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit like at the bottom and any comments, feel free to make some comments and ask any questions. All products are available from www.autowave.co.uk. Thank you.